welcome to our jump session. So we have Georgie, Kiri and Maisie again showing us how to do our jumps. So the first thing that is very important is our jumps is our takeoff position. So our takeoff position, we take our hands behind our body, we bend our knees, we squeeze our hips underneath us as we don't want our bottom sticking out. And then when we jump, we swing our arms up by our ears, we straighten our legs, we push up on our toes as we want our toes to be the last thing that leaves the floor and our landing position, our arms go in front of us, we bend our knees and squeeze our hips underneath again. We hold this position and then we do a beautiful stretch to show we have finished the move. Very good girls, and we're gonna do that a few times. So we're gonna go take off position and then we're gonna swing up, pretend jump, push through our toes and landing position and hold, two, three and stretch. And again, take off position. Swing our arms up, pretend jump, and land, hold, two, three, and finish. Very nice. The next thing we're gonna do is just practice pushing through our toes as we want to use this as the main propeller up into our jump. So this time we're gonna keep our hands by our sides just so we can focus on our legs. We're gonna bend our knees, and then we're gonna push through our toes and do a stretch jump. Very nice, we're gonna do this five times. Ready, one, two, three, four, five. Very good, as you can see, we want to have beautifully pointed toes. We're then gonna add this in with the takeoff and landing that we learned before, so we can do a stretch jump all together. So we're gonna go into our takeoff position and stretch jump and finish. Very nice, girls. We're then gonna go on to a tuck jump. So when we do a tuck jump, we want our knees to go all the way up to our tummy. So we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna do our takeoff position, push through our toes and do a tuck jump to do the same landing and finish. Very nice. Our next jump is going to be a star jump. So this is when our arms and legs go out to the side and then they join back before we touch the floor. So takeoff position and star jump. Very nice, we want this to be as big as we can. Our next jump is a little bit more difficult on the floor, especially as it's not a sprung floor, but we are going to try a straddle jump. So the difference between a star jump is in a star jump, our legs go out to the side and they face forwards. In a straddle jump, our legs go out to the side, but our knees face up to the ceiling. So our legs come a little bit more in front of us. So we're gonna start off with a straddle jump. So we're gonna start in our takeoff position and straddle jump. So as you can see, our legs have to be really fast to get up and get back for the landing. Well done, girls. Our next jump is a half turn jump. So in this one, we take off in the same position or we can do what Maisie's doing with one arm in front, one arm behind. We swing our arms up to our ears and we do a half turn jump. Off you go, girls. So we turn halfway and finish. Very nice. Do one more to face me, girls. So stay facing that way. That's it, one more to face me. And off you go. Very nice. And if you found that one easy, you can move on to a full turn jump. So the same takeoff, you can either have both arms behind or you can go into this one arm forward, one arm back. And you're gonna swing your arms up and you're gonna go all the way around to finish facing the same way. Lovely, the trick on that one is to jump nice and high so you have plenty of time to land. I suggest doing about five each of these jumps so you can practice getting them really, really good. 